Today I will be working on a 2014 Ram 2500 diesel truck uh, with a code of P2201 which is the front NOx sensor uh, near the turbocharger. There's an error there. So we will start working on that. So just to give you an idea of what I think was going on with the check engine light is that uh, you can see here on the left, this is what the sensor is uh, doing here. And if you look here, you'll notice there's a lot of rippling up and down. And so even though the sensor is uh, sending information back to the computer's ECM, I think, I'm not sure, but I think what's going on is that the rippling effect going up and down like that um, makes the computer think that something is wrong with this sensor. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace the sensor. The first thing I want to start doing is replace, uh, taking out the shroud here, the cover. So I've already taken out the majority of the bolts here. Um, they're just coming around the edge here. And there are two up here. One, two. And this whole shroud comes out so that's how that comes out so basically I'll be pulling this out and it drops down it's a little dusty position camera a little bit kind of have to do some bending but it should drop right on down See, there's a lot of trash back here. I just pull it right on. So now you can see that that piece is out and there's a lot of trash up in here. So you might want to vacuum this out. This is the exhaust side of the turbocharger. The NOx sensor is right here. So in uh, one of the videos that I did last time, I discussed the rear NOx sensor. Uh, that sensor was replaced, uh, and so now I'm getting a code for the front sensor. So um, I tried clearing the code, and now the code has returned uh, as a pending sensor code. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and pull that sensor out. So I'll start with my trusty O2 wrench, which can also be used on knock sensors. Um, this is an OEM tool, as you can see. I don't know if we can focus. Uh, will it focus? Yep. That's the number. So that's the tool that I use. And I'm going to go by starting with putting it on. It has a slit right here. If I can get into the picture, he's got a slit right here so I can just put it in there so now that I've got the wrench on there I'm gonna try to see if I can use this other wrench as a, a 
cheater bar. So I'm going to try to see if I can push it with the cheater bar out this way to loosen it. It's like it's a little tight. Ah, there we go. It's loosened. Perfect. All right, so now that I've got it loosened up, I'm going to go ahead and clip some of these. I'm going to go ahead and clip some of these um, things here. here I've got it attached here to the tur uh, turbo so now this will kind of come out a little bit like that And looks like there's a a bolt right here holding this piece here with on. But I can at least turn this here. I'm gonna keep trying. So I've got the sensor loosened up now. start um screwing it by hand still a little hot now the sensor is out so you can see what it looks like now uh, that's what it looks like so now I'm going to loosen up this bolt here Now I have access to this. Okay. Now you can see where this goes. So now the next step is to take this clip off on the bottom of the intake of the turbocharger to get this hose out and we're working our way back to the module itself. So now I'm going to start removing the clip. Now the next thing I'm going to do is clip this right here, this tie wrap, and take it out. And again, I'm doing all this through the wheel well. Um, Down. 
it's tie wrapped to the engine block. Now that's out of the way. There you go. So as we can see, it's right on the module. So now I'm going to have to take this module out. So I had to go uh, get a quarter inch universal uh, to go in my eight millimeter socket uh, so that I can go uh, get the bolt in the rear towards the block. So I did have to do that. And now that I've removed both bolts, uh, the one here in the corner and the other one on the other side there, now all I have to do is get that connector off to get the uh, rest of this out. So I will start on that and come back. So in order to take this connector off, you'll see there's like a tab right here. So you can just put the screwdriver in right here and clip it up. Now you see it's in the up position. And uh, now you can slide it off. So now we can see that it's out now. So that's what it looks like. Connector slides off and this is the old um, part of the sensor that sits outside of the exhaust. So you can see how it looks now. So now this is the new sensor. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. And so we will go ahead and begin installing it. So now we will start by putting the new sensor in. This is our exhaust side of the turbo. Uh, and this is the pipe going down into the emission system. So, again, this is the new sensor, the new NOx sensor. It's going to go inside of here. So, you'll start by adding it, screwing it in. I can get it to where you can see it. We'll screw it in. Now we're going to connect the sensor to the wiring harness of the truck. Try to be careful with it. You don't want to get dirt into the connector. Just slide it on and press down the, the yellow tab on the connector. So now it's connected. Now we can slide it onto the um, block that they have. They have like a like a tab or something. They're a giant ground wire. So now we're going to bolt it back on and let it sit there. So now uh, the main thing is is to bolt it back up correctly to the block and run your wire carefully make sure that you're not there's nothing chafing or scratching against the block or any other metal surface um, 
and run your wire back into the con um, parts that hold the wire together right here. Let's see if I can get a better picture here. So like right here I've got it. We're just going to go inside of this and connect and then run it back towards that. Then I just tighten this down. And that's it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, then once you're done, just put your shield back on. Once the shield is back on, you're ready to take it for a test drive. Now I'll start tightening up my bolts now that I've started them. two bolts under here. So that should be all of those, including the two that were here. And that should be it. Just double check your work. That should be it. Alright, so I just got back from my test drive. Um, I'm, I'm now going to just kind of show you a little bit of what I recorded here. So, uh, basically the sensor uh, is being, was recorded. Um, and so as you can see, this is what um, it basically looked like. Let me make it bigger for you. So you can see here where as time went on my exhaust gas temperatures went up and as my exhaust gas temperatures went up you can see where the NOx sensor is responding. So it looks like I think it was like around 200 degrees exhaust gas temperature that the NOx sensor started to work. So this here is where I was going up a hill a little bit here. Uh, so you can see my gas temperatures rising uh, and then as I went over the hill and started coasting the temperatures went down and the NOx sensor um, it was starting to let um, the gas go down or they started to show the gases going down as well so it looks like the sensor does work now that I've put it in the new sensor uh, let me exit here So now I'm going to double check to see if we have any DTCs since uh, I know like I said last time I tried to clear the codes before replacing the sensor and the and with, within one test drive I did have a pending uh, code for that. So let's see with after this test drive of replacing the sensor what uh, if we have any codes. Okay so as you can see there we have no codes. So it shows that after that first test drive, uh, the system seems to be working properly now. So uh, until the next check engine light, we'll see you later.